Every year at the end of preseason, the Raptors face the incredibly difficult decision of waiving three players, and it always feels as though one player doesn't deserve to get cut from the team, and this year's example is Jeff Dowden. So, what's the real reason behind the Raptors waving the point guard? Let's get into it. Welcome everybody to Amateur Art Sports. This is the YouTube channel that is dedicated to Toronto Raptors content in videos, live streams, and shorts. So if you like what you see from today's video, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more Raptors content all throughout the brand new season and back from vacation, ready to get dialed in for the 2023-2024 Raptors. But that 2023-2024 Raptors team is not going to have point guard Jeff Dowden a part of their roster. It was revealed pretty quickly after the game, the final preseason game against the Washington Wizards that the player had not made the final roster and even though it was confirmed after the game we kind of knew during the game the fact that Jeff Dowden well he got absolutely no minutes for the team even when they were providing those garbage minutes at the end of the game for the likes of players like Garrett Temple Jeff Dowden still did not get on the court so everything was written even before the confirmation but along with Jeff Dowden Two other players were waived in Justice Winslow as well as Mohamedou Gay. Those two are on Exhibit 10 contracts. If you don't know what Exhibit 10 contracts are, basically it's an incentive for those players to now sign for the Raptors 905. If they do sign for the Raptors G League affiliate, they get a bonus for choosing the 905 that they would not get anywhere else having signed at Exhibit 10 here. But we're more interested in the third player that got waived, which is Jeff Down and fans. We're a little bit upset to see the player go. There were some harsh reactions during the watch party we did on this channel. Why is Doubt not playing? Why are they choosing to wave Doubt? And there were some harsh reactions as well on Twitter and in the Amateur Hour Sports Discord because the fan base has become a bit of a fan of this particular player. Last season, the Raptors were very much struggling in the depth category. And most importantly, they were very much struggling in the point guard depth category. Now, they've been struggling in that category for a number of years now, but... Last season, a little bit of help was provided near the end of the season with Jeff Dowden, but there has been a very poor handling of the player and his tenure in Toronto, which has now led him to be able to choose a different NBA team. And the fact that the Philadelphia 76ers still hold his G League rights means the Raptors can also not put him with their 905 affiliate, which I mentioned previously. And now Jeff Down, you know, he's not a world beater. He's not going to light the team on fire and he may not get super consistent minutes, but I think this is a player who has shown the capabilities of being involved in a regular rotation, especially when you consider the caliber of point guards that the Raptors do have on hand. I'm not saying Jeff Down is cracking every rotation, a top two point guard in any team in the NBA, but for the Raptors, given their current situation, you're very much led to believe that he is a top two point guard with the Raptors. You could argue that Malachi Flynn is the backup point guard, and though he was pretty good in the preseason finale against the Washington Wizards, there's very much a reason why Jeff Down was getting those minutes at the end of last season when the Raptors were making that big push to get a play-in position, to get the best play-in position possible, even trying at some point to get into the top six of the NBA and make the playoffs outright. The player entrusted with some of those backup point guard minutes was Jeff Down, and it wasn't Malachi Flynn. So why are we sitting here today going into a new season with Jeff Down no longer on the roster and Malachi Flynn once again on the roster going into a season where we are once again hoping he rise up to that backup point guard candidacy that Jeff Down had already risen to previously. Well, it all comes down to the financial situation and the critical error involved with the Raptors waving Jeff Down. It does not come from just waving down. As far as waving down, it does make sense to a certain degree. The Raptors have 21 spots available for their training camp. Three of those players need to get waived. They can have 18 players in the final roster. Three of those 18 are two-way players. The two-way players in the Raptors right now are Marquise Noel, Javon Freeman-Liberty, and Ron Harper Jr. So you don't really need to count those guys. They were never going to get waived from the team. But the other 15 players are already on guaranteed contracts for the Raptors. So Jeff Down was a bit of an odd man out in this situation because his $2 million was non-guaranteed. If he made the roster, it would have become guaranteed for the entire year. But essentially, Jeff Down had to convince Raptors management, Raptors ownership, that it was worth paying somebody else their entire year's salary to not play for the team and have Jeff Down on the team instead. And though Jeff Down has continuously shown up and played well in his short amounts of minutes, he's always impressed, it seems. 
he wasn't able to beat out a player like Malachi Flynn, who is guaranteed $4 million this upcoming season. But once again, what was the critical error involved in this whole ordeal, in this whole process? Well, it was one year ago when the Raptors committed that full guarantee to Malachi Flynn in the final year of his contract. Last year in October, Malachi Flynn was heading into his third NBA season with a non-guaranteed fourth year, which the Raptors at the deadline to make the decision decided to guarantee Malachi Flynn for a fourth year of his contract. That decision at the time, I was upset about. Malachi Flynn had yet to have shown really any sort of consistent positivity for the Raptors, any sort of consistent shooting, any sort of consistent playmaking, any sort of consistent defense. And even though once every like 10 to 20 games, we see a glimpse of what Malachi Flynn can be, once again, I reiterate, it just has been nowhere near consistent enough. And at the time, especially, it was nowhere near consistent enough to warrant giving him that fourth year guarantee. And I didn't know the implications that it would have on the team until now. We're really seeing the ramifications of that decision because even though we could argue and you could very much make a very good case, and I would make that case that Jeff Dowden is the better player and is more suited to helping this team reach the goal of making the playoffs this season, Malachi Flynn is on that $4 million guarantee. So the Raptors would have had to decide to waive Malachi Flynn pay him $4 million to not be on the team, and then pay Jeff Dowden $2 million to be on the team instead of just having Malachi Flynn and getting rid of Jeff Dowden. So financially, it makes sense why the Raptors did it. It's not too big of a downgrade, in my opinion, having Malachi Flynn instead of Jeff Dowden. I think Malachi could stand to improve tremendously, especially with a new head coach that suits his play style a little bit better. But I'm not holding out too much hope in that. But you could even go beyond Malachi Flynn as far as this roster decision is concerned. A couple of months ago, the Raptors gave Garrett Temple between 2 to $3 million of guaranteed money for a one-year contract. Basically, they're paying Garrett Temple $3 million to be a locker room presence. Based on his stats from last season, based on his play from last season, I really don't see Garrett Temple having any sort of effect on the Raptors roster and the on-court product for the upcoming season. So that's another one where it's kind of making you scratch your head. We have a player who was helping us last season, is prepared to help us again this season, but we are prioritizing other players who we don't see as that sort of help. And for a Raptors team that is going out to try and win games this season, it's an unfortunate sight. For the player, obviously, it's a business, but from a personal standpoint, that would have been a really life-changing sort of guarantee for Jeff Dowden. He hasn't really had the success in the NBA financially. He's been in and out of different teams. He's been on 10-day contracts, but he spent most of his career now going around through different G League organizations. So that $2 million guarantee would have been a real life-changing figure for him to receive, and unfortunately, he could not quite get to that point. But I think he's a talented player. He has consistently shown outrageous numbers in the G League whether it's in the NBA, whether it's somewhere else, I think that there is going to be a team at some point that sees Jeff Dowden as suitable point guard depth for their organization. I can see a ton of G League teams trying to snap him up. Like I said, the 76ers had those G League rights. And even so, I could see an overseas team think that this is a player that could really help with a Euro League run as well. So Jeff Dowden is a good player, a solid player. Is he being slightly overrated by Raptors fans? Maybe, but... The situation in Toronto as far as the point guard depth is concerned, really the only one I trust is Dennis Schroeder. And even more especially now that Scotty Barnes could be facing some time out with a foot sprain, point guard depth is very much needed in Toronto. I don't have a ton of faith in Malachi Flynn, Marquis Sewell, Javon Freeman-Liberty on those two-way contracts. I don't think they're going to be trusted with those NBA minutes. Jeff Dowd is a player that I think could have had a somewhat important role for the team, but we are not going to be able to see that, and it remains to be seen what happens with his career. Ultimately, this entire situation stems from the errors and the poor contracts that were given out one year ago to Malachi Flynn and, I believe, two months ago to Garrett Temple as well. But what do you make of this whole situation? Should Jeff Dowd have made the Toronto Raptors final roster? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. That is it for me for today. So excited to bring you a new season of Toronto Raptors content here. Make sure you're subscribed so you keep up to date with all of those videos, streams, and shorts. Make sure you'd like this video if you did enjoy it. I'll see you again very soon for another video.